fine preseason. I had a fine training camp, probably as good as I've ever had. And all of a sudden, we go up to New York and lose opening day in a game which I was sacked eight times and was 12 of 25, and we don't score. It seemed like a good time to, you know, to put the noose around somebody. And I guess they figured the guy that's conditioned to it is me. So I, I feel to a certain degree I've been used as a scapegoat. And, uh, I don't feel very good about that. I've got to guide a team this first game that I'm going to be starting. The good coaching staff, as we have, they understand that, you know, you, it's like throwing a quarterback into the lines. Uh, you've got to, to let him take each step, you know, the best he can, and not necessarily uh, pull him out of the game when anything happens. But, you know, if they have to pull me out of the game, I'm sure Ron's going right back in. How tough is it? You've gone to war with this guy for a long time as an assistant coach. You've gone to the Super Bowl with him. You've gone into playoffs with him. You've laughed with him. You've cried with him. You've lived with him all of this time. And you had to call him in and tell him you're going to put somebody else in there. That's not got to be the easiest job in the world. I tell you, that's tough, very tough to have to do that because I respect Ron, respect him as a player and as a man, and uh, he's done great things for Philadelphia. Uh, our offense has not been moving and uh, did not move in preseason. And Ron mentioned he had a good camp. He did, but... Uh, we didn't get points, did not get any kind of sustained drives. Uh, Randall goes in, he gets some, and uh, I didn't want this offense just to remain as it has been. Uh, and, and I've looked back at the past few years. It has been a very low productivity from point stand, uh, standpoint, and I wanted to do something about it and didn't want to wait too late or at least to try to do something. When did you make the decision? Mentally, when did you say, I'm going to do it? Well, I tell you, uh, standing on the sidelines in the New York game, I almost put Randall in earlier. And, and I'm looking at it, and I said, if I do that, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm giving someone else a crutch. I wanted to make the guys get out there and do better than they had done. But uh, I was flashing back to the standpoint, here we are again, offense not moving. Uh, I had uh, 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 seen uh, Randall do it. And so I think that's when I made the decision to do that. And I, I uh, was encouraged with Randall in training camp and in preseason, so I feel good about it. Well, part of doing the Murray and Campbell show means we always have to look at the game that preceded us. So whether you like it or not, Coach, I know it's going to hurt just a little bit, but we'll take a look at the Giants one more time right after this. Uh, gave them great field position. Andre Waters, in fact, really saved about an additional 20 or 30 yards on that play. So it broke down on our right side, and that was it. Sims did not have a great day. No, well, Sims on this play come out uh, to his right, and uh, usually that's an outbreak. The guy went out and up, uh, and broke their tenants, and beat, uh, beat us for a touch. Here's what hurt, and this is not the only time it's happened. It's happened a lot over the years, eight sacks, minus 73 yards. Well, that's true, and it's not uh, the blame of just one person. If it was so, then you could do something about it. We had breakdowns uh, all across, including our blocking backs back there. Our running backs are supposed to be blocking. Now, this is Morris. He's taking a... He's taking it in. We had a breakdown on our right side of our defense, and we're down. Now, that was set up also by a return, that second touchdown. They got the ball at the 11-yard line. I am convinced that this guy is going to break more than one this year for you. I tell you, Herman has an excellent vision. In fact, we're going to run him some uh, with a ball uh, in this game. So hopefully he can break some plays like that. But he has excellent vision. You did not, and in, in watching the game, Marion, in all fairness, you have the guys that are not there in camp are, are defensive players, and it seemed your defense played a pretty good football. Well, I tell you, after we were down 14-zip uh, in the early minutes, uh, defense held on, did not allow a blowout, and I think that's a credit to our defense. And, uh, you know, I'm pleased with that part. They, they mentally held up, and that, that's a big plus, and we have to have that down the stretch there. Well, quick looks like, you know, three for 32 is not too bad, and... This is in the playbook, isn't it? Well, this is in the nickel. You get man-to-man -man there. Their defensive line over overshifted to the right. Their left end was out wide, and, and, and that's, a, that's a design play there. But Jaws does roll out. A lot of people say he can't roll out, but he does. He rolls out. Right, it still right, didn't help. Right. He's more of a slide, you know, quarterback, uh, slide around back there to throw. Now, this is Sims. Sims, uh, you know, he had a great year last year, and their, their football team is motivated with this play. This is Wes. We're, we're playing uh, short and long here. West comes up with a big play, Sims overthrows it. Now, this is in the two minutes, and you cannot advance your own fumble unless it is the, it is the person who fumbles it. Uh, he can re uh, uh, advance it, but not the one who uh, recovered it there. Here's the Spagnola. This, this is what they're going to give you, aren't they, on their defense? Well, yeah, this, uh, uh, John's pretty savvy. He, he had a roll up over there with a linebacker and uh, uh, had enough time to get by him, and it's tough. Uh, linebacker one-on-one -on -one versus Spagnuolo. A little sprint or a slide, I guess. Yeah, and this is a, what we call an open. 
Just let uh, Mike quick get in the open. You know, get one-on-one -on -one if he recognizes it. Just do what he has to do. You know what hurts, Marion? When you're in the shotgun, which is to prevent sacks and your quarterback can sack. Well, it is, you know, and uh, you're back there so that you really can see blitzes and those things coming at you a little bit better. Calvert, they resurrected him. Well, I tell you, he's their nickel. He, he, uh, he's their nickel back. They throw to him a lot. He comes into the ball game, and from the nickel offense, uh, we'll do some running. And, and here, he made a good play against Their number us. one is a running back, and then little Joe Morris, uh, <laughs> you know, he's tough. Well, Morris, uh, he's an excellent runner. He's strong. He's not uh, very tall, but he's a powerful a uh, guy got uh, very fine physical qualities. Yeah, as you said, it was everyone's breakdown. Was it just a complete breakdown on these sides? Well, I tell you, we just uh, we got set back early. One of the things we're going to have to do as a football team is be more, uh, be tougher mentally when you have a setback like that. We're going to have to react to some changes. Now, there's uh, John catching one over the middle. Now, we're going to see Randall. You put him in late in the game. Well, I like I said, to do this, I wanted him to get a little experience, get out there. If he's going to be nervous, get it over with now in a situation like this. It's uh, because you don't get work. Now, he, he makes a bold throw here to Garrity out there. He's doubled and, and drills it in between the two defenders, and he's got that kind of courage. And uh, he was baptized on this play. Well, yeah, he's, he holds the ball and ducks and tries to go to the inside. I think most people are going to, Al, uh, rush him wide. And, and, and his escape uh, points are going to have to be inside. And he, he forces the thing in there then. He's got Mike running and it looks good to him. And it's going to be part of a reading. 